Zinc is the right material to make model railroad dreams come true. This might sound like old news. Still, one cannot point this out too often, as models made from this material are simply top-notch. Every first-class item comes with a zinc die-cast body. It's a schöner Kessel. Macht Spaß mit dem zum Arbeiten. It's a very nice boiler and a fun item to work on. In the beginning we've had to coordinate every step with the toolmakers, who supplied the molds and also with the construction department in order for the models to leave the molds in a flawless condition. Surely you recognize this item at first glance. If not, we'll give away the secret. It's the boiler of series 95. The item undergoes a thorough visual check to make sure that the surface is smooth enough and lives up to our standards. Possible flaws are air inclusions or incomplete parts where the liquid metal has not filled the entire mold. Every flaw means additional work for the following production departments. Of course, we want to minimize this rework as much as possible. The boiler needs to be 100% flawless, as this piece will be visible in its entirety on the model. The boiler is not the only item in the making. The sectional frame is being produced as well, although the work is carried out at another machine. This is a very demanding task that requires a lot of attention. Although the sectional frame will hardly be visible once the model is completed, the design was carried out diligently. Casting the sectional frame is more of a challenge as it comes with a lot of details that require absolute dimensional accuracy. For example, with the axle journal boxes. Klaus Kiesling has worked at the zinc diecast department for many years. He checks every single item in order to detect even the smallest flaws. The sprue is still attached to the cast part. It will come off in a later production step. What's going to happen with all the superfluous parts like the sprue? They're collected in a trash can and will later be melted and reused for casting. It's still a long way until the locomotive can finally take its place in the box. The packages will also come in a different design. Series 95 is going to be the first Insider Club model to receive a newly designed packaging. That is, a dark grey cardboard box with an elegant design matching the beautiful engine inside. All in all, a high-quality package worthy of new club models. This is good news for the club members. And it will get even better once they've had a chance to observe their brand new models on their layouts at home. The locomotive will automatically log in at the central station thanks to the new MFX technology. Of course, it will also be possible to operate the vehicle in the cab mode, which will create a realistic appearance of the driver's cab on the display. The five-coupled locomotive accelerates very smoothly. Of course, this model will also run on analog layouts. Headlights are switched on automatically, and the smoke generator comes as an additional option for Series 95. The model also tackles narrow radii like the R1 without any trouble. Being a locomotive with a tender, the Series 95 doesn't look bad on narrow courses, which may be a huge relief to every model railroader who doesn't have a spacious layout. Surely you've noticed that the locomotive hasn't received its markings yet. This is easily explained, as the vehicle is the very first sample using the original die-cast pieces. That's also the reason why the numerous sound and light functions are not yet available in this model. Even the double-slip diamond crossing of the K-Track assortment doesn't pose a real challenge to this engine. The club model also reveals very nice running characteristics when decelerating.
The wheels with their tiny flanges are a real sight to see. The coupled axle is quite flexible with two axles resting on springs. And here comes the matching set of cars for Series 95. There are also only rudimental samples. The G10 has a shortened brakeman's cap and was operated by the Reichsbahn in the British and American zone respectively. The former GLT Dresden, which comes with an arched roof as well as a truss underframe and footboards. In contrast, this G10 goes without a brakeman's cap. The riveted metallic bars for reinforcing the wooden side panels are clearly visible. Buffers are situated on both ends with one being curved and the other one flat. This is yet another version of the G10, which doesn't have a handbrake. Therefore, the truck is the same length as the body. And this is the original G10 with the raised brakeman's cab and stairs. Whereas this G10 comes with a shortened brakeman's cap and also has striking metal reinforcements riveted on the wooden panels. The roof is slightly arched. Finally, the beautiful freight train is completed by a castle car with movable sliding doors. The fact that not one of the brown cars looks alike makes the train even more interesting. The new Series 95 is a very promising new item, thanks to its appearance and technological features. It's going to be a highlight, not only on steep slopes and large layouts, but on smaller courses as well. Club members may look forward to its release, provided they've already ordered their very own version of this outstanding model. This is a very good reason to celebrate, as this model will surely be a very coveted item and far less obstinate than a donkey. Which is just as well since he would not like that at all and neither would Märklin Insiders and Tricks Club members. Have you already ordered the club model at your local specialist dealer? Deadline for ordering is April 30th. And it would be real pity to miss this beautiful train.